Hey, hey, welcome to another overrated review, the most casual reviews on all of the internet and YouTube. I am Bradley Overrated, and today we are reviewing the game AI The Somnium Files. It is developed and published by Spike Chun Soft, and if you know Spike Chun Soft games, you know they're gonna be weird. Let's do it. So in this game, you play as Date, a detective that has been hired to investigate a case involving a person that was murdered on a merry-go-round. It turns out though that you know this person, and that's about all I'm going to give you as everything else about the story is kind of a spoiler in a sense, it's not necessarily, but I will tell you right now that this game is off the walls crazy, and it is absolutely fantastic if you love story driven games and you love crazy narratives this game will have you covered and not to mention that there are definitely multiple endings so there's a lot of different ways you go about it the decisions you make in this game will greatly impact it and that my friends is my type of game and that enough in and of itself is enough to sell me on a game but what I really liked about AI in the Somnium Files is typical of Spike Chunsoft games the characters in the games are vibrant and unique you grow attached to them they can in fact have since there are different endings some of them can die some of them can live it like I said you'll have branching paths you can go back and look at your flow chart typical to other games like for example Detroit become human and I just love the way they present it they keep throwing weird curveballs, but by far the weirdest curveball I've seen is Aiba. That weird little mutant thing you just saw on the screen, that's Date's eyeball, actually. That's right, you heard me. Date's eyeball is actually a very sophisticated piece of artificial intelligence that is there to assist Date because he had an accident six years ago, and I'm not going to go into anything because it's a spoiler. But he basically now has Aiba as his eyeball assistant that can help him solve all of these cases. And that would be fine. That would That's a weird concept and I absolutely love it. Aiba as a character is just wonderful. Because the game will make you laugh and stress out and do all that stuff. But it gets weirder because then eventually you'll use Aiba to go into people's psyches. You'll go into their unconscious memories as Aiba in a device known as the Somnium hence the name of the game, and you will have to basically decide, based on their unconsciousness, whether or not they might be guilty of something, or even help them out, or even save their lives. And if that sounds weird, and it's kind of hard to understand, I'm sorry I probably didn't explain it as well as I could have, but at the same time, Welcome to Spike Chunsoft Games, friends. This is what they do, and then this particular game, it's awesome. Because when you're in the Somnium, you'll have certain mental blocks that you'll need to figure out, and you'll have only a certain amount of time. If the time runs out, though, you fail to essentially save the character, and it can very well be game over. So you'll have to run around the areas, analyze things, try out different approaches, see what works and doesn't work, and it's a fun puzzle-esque type of game that I really, really enjoyed. Now the version of the game that I played is on the Nintendo Switch, and I will tell you right now that the Nintendo Switch version does not look as good as the PS4 version, I have seen the PlayStation 4 version, but I will tell you right now I think it's better to play it on the Switch because this is a great game to play in handheld mode and you can play this game on the go and it runs really well on the go or in docked mode so that is a huge plus for me. When it comes to negatives there's only a few since this was the Nintendo Switch version of the game I did notice some weird texture pop up things every once in a while sometimes the frame rate will drop and the pacing of the game overall can be a little bit slow at times. Sometimes you just want to get to the good stuff and the game kind of, you know, since it is a narrative, it kind of builds it up nice and slow and it takes its time. So the pacing isn't necessarily as smooth as it can be. But overall, guys, AI The Somnium Files is amazing and it is charming. It is probably a very underrated game. If you haven't tried it, you need to try this game. It is just so much fun. There's tons of replay value. It is worth the $60 asking price in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead now and give AI The Somnium Files for the Nintendo Switch a very, very solid A-. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to jump back in all over and see what different ending I can get. 
the characters are great the soundtrack works really well I love the story I love the branching paths I love solving the puzzles I love all the investigating stuff that you can do and the characters are just so unique and fun Spike Chunsoft man they know how to make a really fun and entertaining game Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, go buy this game. That's what this is all about because this is the type of game that deserves your love and attention. And this is the these are the moments that I love being a gamer. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Have a good one.